Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss. Wow, you were already here. <laughs> I had some yes, problems with the internet connection. Good evening, teacher. Yeah. How are you today? Fine. Fine, thank very you, very teacher. Thank you. Very, very well. And I'm glad that you were here on time. <laughs> okay, let's start the class because it's already 8.03. So we got to start now. I'm going to share the screen for you to see the topic of this evening's class. Okay. Okay. Okay, can you tell me if you can see my screen? Yes, I can see. Okay, that's good. Good, so we are still in the topic going to for future plans. And can somebody tell me today's date? Today is Monday, July 19. 2021. Excellent. So I need that everybody please write the date on your notebook. Okay. Please. And we're going to write it down also here on the presentation. Okay. So how do you spell Monday? Tell me because I don't know. Tell me. M O M M O O N D A. Why? Okay, and then what is next? July. A, oh, do I have comma, to put a comma? Um, okay, comma. comma. Yes, comma. Okay, July. July. And okay. Night with, with capital letters. Oh, July. yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so July is with capital letter. Oh, thank you for telling me. Okay. <laughs> July, I think, like that? I think, yes. Like that? Yes. In 19, yes. 20, oh, TH, 19th. Yes. And another comma. Okay. Is that correct, teacher? Yes. <laughs> and yes. then what is next? 2021. The year, 2021. Okay, it's perfect. Thank you so much for helping me out right day. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now let's continue. Oh. Okay, so we have the lesson objective for this class. By the end of this class, you will learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing going to. So you're going to learn the reduction of going to, to gonna. You're going to learn about that, okay? I need to, oops, but I have to erase the date. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. Okay. The agenda, we have some activities here. The first activity is review of previous class. When was our last class? It was on Wednesday? Was it on Wednesday? No? No, when it was, was on, on Thursday. Oh, it was on Thursday, yes. On Mondays, I have a bad memory. <laughs> My brain is not working well today. I can't remember. <laughs> yes, our last class it was, was on Thursday, and it was Thursday, July what? I can't remember. It was Thursday, 
Thursday, July 15th, right? You were very happy because you got pay and you have money. <laughs> Good, so that is the first activity. Then in activity two, we have, what are you going to do? You are going to learn about WH question, the structure. Then activity three, we have pronunciation. And finally, the wrap up. So let's begin. Let's review the previous class. In these sentences, there are some mistakes and you have to find the mistake, okay? You have to read the sentence and identify which is the mistake. For example, in the first sentence we have, I'm going to do my homework. What is the mistake here? Well, well you can tell me, you can raise your hand and tell the class, or also you can... Um, the verb uh, to be? Yes, you're missing the verb to be. You're right. You are right. Okay, let me see if I can. Oh, yeah, it's here. Okay, so here it should say, um, right? I'm going to do my homework. So here it was missing the verb to be. In this case, the form, the verb form with I is I am or am. Am. Remember to close your lips. I'm going to, I'm going to do my homework. Okay, what about the second sentence? She's going to do wash her clothes tomorrow. What's the mistake? She's going to do wash her clothes tomorrow. There are two verbs together. Exactly, there are two verbs. So how would the correct sentence be? To wash. Exactly, she's going to wash. So we're going to delete or eliminate do. She's Boom. going to wash her clothes tomorrow, okay? Because today there's no water. There's no water in the house. Like that's very typical in El Salvador. <laughs> okay, now the other sentence says, we're not going to have class on Friday. We're not going. We are not going to. Oh, what's missing here? Are. The verb. Verb to be. Exactly. So, yeah, it should be. We're not going to have class on Friday. We're not going to have class on Friday. Excellent. Wow, I can see that you pay attention last class. And that's great. I can see that you have been practicing in the platform. And that's, and that's excellent. Now we have a question. Is you going to watch TV later? The bird to be. Again, uh, the bird to be, exactly. Are you? Oh, yeah. Is is only for he, she, and it. She and so it. here it should say uh, are. Thank you, Kimberly. That's right. Are you going to watch TV later? Okay. Perfect. Well, guys, congratulations. Give an applause for yourself, okay? <laughs> because you're doing great. Let me see if I can put some applauses here. Okay. I'm gonna do. Let's continue. Now, here you can see the structures of WH questions. Last class, we were studying yes, no questions. In yes, no questions, you have to put the verb to be, the subject, going to, and then the verb and the complement. But with um, WH questions, it's almost the same um, structure. The only difference is that you have to put the question word 
at the beginning when you start the question. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat after me the WH question words? Where? Where? When? Where? When? When? Why? 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 How? 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 Good. So we have an example here. What are you going to celebrate? What? The question word are the verb to be. You, the subject, going to, and then the verb, celebrate. So what are you going to celebrate? And then this, the, the answer, it has to be a long answer, not a short answer, because it's an information question. You are asking for info. You're asking for more information, not a yes, no answer. You're asking for info. So in this case, it would be, what are you going to celebrate? We are going to celebrate Mother's Day. <clears throat> there is a uh, student who is asking that uh, is having pro it's having problems, I'm just having problem connecting. Mm -hmm. it's not, I think it's the app. Okay, so we are going to celebrate Mother's Day. What are you going to celebrate? We're going to celebrate Mother's Day. Or you can say we're going to celebrate my birthday, or we are going to celebrate Independence Day, or we are going to celebrate um, Christmas or New Year's Eve, or we are going to celebrate our anniversary, our wedding anniversary, or we are going to celebrate um, our graduation, etc. Now, but there are more questions about it. Like, where are you going to celebrate it? Can you give me a possible answer? And maybe we can write it here. Where are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? The Mother's Day is celebrated at May 10th. Where? It is, yes. But the question is where? Where? It's In asking where. We are going to celebrate the Mother's Day in our restaurant. Okay. Okay, we're in the contracted form going to celebrate. It. We're going to celebrate it. We're going to celebrate it in an Italian restaurant, okay? because I love it, Italian food. Mm. I need to, oh yes. Okay. We're going to celebrate it in an Italian restaurant. Very good. Okay, now another a possible answer. Uh, when, when, when um, are you going to celebrate it? When? We're, or we are. We are going are gonna celebrate it in my tent. Tent. On May. On. We use a preposition May. on when it's because it's more it's in a specific day. On May 10th, right? On May 10th. Good. Okay, the other is, why, why is she going to celebrate it? Mm 
Why are you going to celebrate it? Because it's an important because, day. <laughs> because. Uh -huh. because. Because that is an important day. Okay, because that is an important day for you. That's that is or that's an important uh, date in our family. Okay. Now, how are they going to celebrate it? How are they going to celebrate? It? How is your family going to celebrate it? They are going to. How? Como? How? We are going to celebrate it with. with make a party. <laughs> okay, with a big party. They are going to celebrate it with a big party. Oops, sorry. With a big party and a lot of food. Okay, excellent. So as you can see, the answers are um, no short. They are, as you can see, um, long answers, right? Uh, where asks, remember, where asks for a place, un lugar. When is asking for a date or a time. Why is asking, is asking for a reason. That's why we say because. That's the answer. And how is asking for a way, una manera, or a manner. Mm -hmm. Are you taking notes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, can we continue with the next slide? Yes, Miss. Okay. Yes. Need to erase this, the answers. Good. Okay, now. Uh, we're going to work on pronunciation and then we're going to have some practice. But first, uh, I want you to, do, to know this. Reduction of going to. When English speakers are speaking at a normal rate of a speech, it is common to reduce going to to gonna. Gonna. So going to, they reduce it to gonna. But this is only in a speaking only in a spoken English. When you speak, you can say, uh, I'm gonna take a shower after class or um, tomorrow um, I'm gonna buy a, at the supermarket some, some things that I need. Okay. Or next weekend, I'm going to uh, go to the beach with my friends and my family because we need a break. Or you can say, on my next vacation, I'm going to visit um, some touristic places in El Salvador. So in speaking, you can say, when you speak, you can say gonna, 
But when you write, you cannot write gonna. You have to write going to because that is the formal way. It's the correct way. I'm going to practice. Gonna is only used in spoken English. So please keep that in mind. Remember that. Okay. So we have I have here some questions. Are you gonna go out tonight? Okay. Instead of saying, are you going to go out tonight? You can say, are you gonna go out tonight? And the other is he's gonna do his homework or he's going to do his homework. So instead of saying he's going to do his homework, you can say he's gonna do his homework. Now I'm gonna create some break, breakout rooms and I would like you to practice these two sentences, okay? Using gonna. Instead of saying going to, use the reduction form gonna, okay? And we can include or we can um, add more sentences. Are you gonna go out tonight? He's gonna do or he's gonna do his homework. Oh, it's here. Okay, are you gonna go out tonight? What other, can you help me with other sentences? For example, she's my mom or she's not gonna. She's not gonna cook. Uh, so instead of saying she's not going to cook, you can say she's not going to cook. And to sound more natural when you speak. Um, another could be my sister. My sister is going to drink more water. Another one, they are gonna, they are gonna visit me on my next vacation. So in the break of rooms, take turns to please practice the pronunciation of these sentences, okay? So if you want, you can take a picture or I will try if I can send this information on a message, okay? Yes. Let me create, please. let me create the breakout rooms. Please. How many students do we have today? Um, let me see. Okay. Okay. Please accept the invitation. Hello, remember that you have to practice the, the pronunciation of Gona. Gona. Yes, with the sentences I send you on the message. Um, repeat. 
please, for example, please. repeat after me. Are you going to go out tonight? 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 He's going to do his homework. He's gonna He's do his, gonna his homework. homework. He's gonna do his homework. He's, He's gonna, gonna do his homework. homework. She's not gonna cook. She's not gonna cook. My sister is not. My sister is gonna drink more water. No. Este. Hola, Miss. No entendimos bien lo que íbamos a hacer, o sea, solo me quedé con lo de la, de la pronunciación, pero no sé por qué nos, nos unió, no le entendí. Ah, porque van a, van a tomar este, turnos, you are going to take turns to practice reading the, the, the sentences with that pronunciation of gonna. Entonces ustedes van a leer. Uh -huh. Read the sentences, but please practice gonna, the pronunciation of gonna. Ahí les mandé un mensajito, les mandé las oraciones, ¿verdad? The sentences. Ah. Y si no, lo pueden encontrar en el chat también. Ah. Ahorita, gracias. You're welcome. Quiero, quiero escucharlas, al menos una ah, hora. Pero en el, en, el, en el chat no aparece. Ahorita lo de las oraciones. Eh, Ahorita ¿sí? aquí. aquí. Aquí las están mandando. Ah, bueno, también se las puedo mandar en el WhatsApp. Ajá. No, ya están, ya están acá. Ok, ok. O sea, ajá, so, are you, are you, bueno, are you gonna eh, out tonight? Are you gonna go out tonight? Uh -huh. Ah, go He's gonna do his homework. Excellent. He's not gon gonna cook. Yes. My sister is gonna drink more water. Yes. Um, they are gonna visit visit me on my next vacation. 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 Yes. Uh, please help Ludivina, please. Thank you. Are you, are you gonna owe? Oh. I am gonna, are you gonna to go? I am, I'm gonna, to visit my parents and I am gonna to sing, to sing, in, to sing at a party. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Um, in my case, I gonna do uh, the shopping uh, in my house and I probably have, I'm going, I'm gonna do my class for the university. So in the in the uh, evening. So that's my plans for this the this weekend. Okay. What about you, Mario? Uh, I'm going to go to the beach. <laughs> you wanna stay in your house? Okay, just just. Let me tell you uh, that when you are using this, you don't have to use to because gonna is a reduction of going to. Okay, for example, um, Isamar, you were saying, I'm gonna to uh, sing in a party. So you're, you, you don't say gonna to because gonna is a, it's, it, when you say gonna, you are saying going to, okay? It's not necessary as another verb. It in this is. case, it is uh, because, so because only the word only the word to. 
Okay, you say, I'm gonna sing. Oh, okay. um, um, is the contraction of I am, right? Um, I'm gonna do the shopping. I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna um, wash the dog. I'm gonna clean my room. Okay? okay so the purpose you. of this activity is that you, uh, that you practice pronunciation to sound more natural. But you can say going to, and there's no problem. Okay. Ah, uh, teacher, okay. en español no le entendí. ¿Cuál fue el error? Ah, vale. Que usted, después de Degona, usó to. Ajá, no sé. Pero cuando eso. usted dice Gona, es, ya está diciendo going to. Ya va incluido. Ajá. Entonces, Try to say another sentence. Diría, I'm gonna sing. Exactly. Sí, pero trate de que suene natural, que no suene tan así, ¿verdad? Tan, tan, ajá, so next, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna sing in a party. And try to speak faster. Ajá. Sí, la pronunciación. Entonces, I'm gonna sing, no in, lleva, I'm gonna sing in a party. I'm verde. gonna cook for my family. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ahí les puse Thank unas oraciones para que practiquen. ¿Verdad? Uh, Are you okay. gonna go out okay, tonight? Entre... He's gonna do his homework. Entre... She's not gonna cook. My sister is gonna drink more water. They are gonna visit me on my next vacation. So please practice the, the sentences. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Hay que entrar más temprano. Entender. <laughs> okay. Hello guys, are you practicing Hello. the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, I, I want to hear you. Okay, uh, repeat the the question, please. Okay, please. Um, I want to Albert. hear you practicing the pronunciation of the sentences. Las oraciones que les mandé en el chat que ya tienen en el WhatsApp y que les mandé ahí un mensajito también. El WhatsApp dice... La imagen. Sí, ahí están. Vaya. Aquí, no sé si lo pueden ver en el chat, pero ahí en el chat les mandé las oraciones. Y ustedes van a practicar la pronunciación. Con las mismas oraciones. Yeah, just practice the pronunciation. Or if you want, you can practice others. Son, la, son, las, son las oraciones que, que están que está en la presentación. Yes, the ones that are in the presentation and the ones that are on the chat. Are you gonna go out tonight? He's gonna do his homework. She's not gonna cook. My sister is gonna drink more water. They are gonna visit me on my next vacation. This is cuando hablamos más rapidito, más fluido. En vez de decir going to, we can say gonna. Para sonar como más natural. Ese es el objetivo de, de, este, de este practice, okay? Please practice, practice the pronunciation, please. Are you gonna go out tonight? Perfect. Please gonna...
Could you practice with your partners? Pudieron practicar con sus compañeros? Could you practice with your partners? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. great. You yes. can continue practicing. You know what? I'm going to ask you to record yourself. Vale, le voy a pedir un, 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 un favorcito y esto lo vamos a hacer en el WhatsApp. Okay. Eh, quiero, pero de homework, ¿ok? You write a question, a Jesma question, a WH question, and a sentence in affirmative form and a sentence in negative form. Y luego, you record yourself. Luego se graban, mandan un audio diciendo esas cuatro, ¿ok? Y yo las voy a escuchar mañana. Todos nos vamos a escuchar ahí. Entonces, en el WhatsApp, mandamos un audio diciendo una pregunta con WH, una yes no question, una pregunta de yes no, y también una oración, affirmative sentence en afirmativo, en a negative sentence, una oración en negativo. Can somebody repeat what I said? ¿Puede alguien repetir la instrucción? Miss usando going to. Exactly. Okay. Sí, pero cuando se graben, traten de sonar tan natural como Gona. Gona. Así, using, instead of using going to, you're going to use gonna. ¿Ok? Miss. Ok. Yes. Eh, entendí una pregunta... Contestarla en afirmativo, contestarla en negativo y la otra no la entendí. Van a decir en el audio una pregunta de información, una pregunta de sí o no, una oración afirmativa y una oración en negativo. Y lo van a grabar, lo van a mandar en un audio al grupo de WhatsApp y ahí nos vamos a escuchar todos. ¿Qué les parece? Usando okay. buena. Ya no going to, sino que buena. buena. Cuando usted las escribe, usa going to, porque esa es la forma correcta. Pero cuando lo pronunciamos, usted puede pronunciarle going to o puede pronunciarle gonna. Pero en esta ocasión, en la práctica, solo quiero que utilicen gonna. Ok. ¿Sí? Para que suenen como más, más bonito, ¿verdad? Más natural. Instead of saying going to, you're going to use gonna. Okay. What are you going to do this weekend? Are you gonna utilizar use... gonna es como, como decir, utilizar gonna es como decir I don't not, I don't. Algo así viene siendo. O sea, la, la similitud. Cuando usted utiliza. Como cuando gonna, reducimos, es, es cuando como... decimos I don't not, I don't. Como, instead of saying I am, you can say am. O instead of saying he is, you can say his. Es, es reducido, más abreviado. Y es que eso es lo que pasa con American people. Ellos, los native speakers, eh, usualmente hacen eso, reducir palabras. Entonces, ellos son bien prácticos. Ellos no les gusta andar, son más directos, prácticos, rápidos. Entonces, este, cuando hablan, reducen muchas palabras y ustedes tienen que aprender qué es lo que está diciendo la persona cuando les hablen en inglés a ustedes. Por eso es que estamos haciendo esta práctica, ¿verdad? Muy bien, miren, it's 8.43. Ok. Time flies. Yes, Alba. Eh, teacher, a mí no me llegó la invitación para unirme al grupo. No, no, no tengo eso y se me había escapado de decirle. ¿En el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí, no tengo grupo, o sea, no me cayó la invitación. Ok, can you please give me your number in English? Excuse me? What's your telephone number? Can you tell me your telephone number, please? Eh, 7220. ¿Seven? 7558. 72. Ah. Uh, Seven two eh, two o oh, um, seven five five two. Okay, I'm going to repeat it. Seven two twenty seven five five two. Is it correct? 
let me one second. I'm calling you, Alba. 72, 20, 75, 52. Excuse me. Yes. 7228. Oh, it's 5A, no, not 52. Okay. A mí tampoco me llegó la invitación, teacher, por eso es que no podía entrar. Yo con el mismo link estaba entrando hasta que usted me lo envió, así que muchas gracias. Ahí lo envió al grupo, el chat, pero no me llegó. Ok. Ok, we gotta see that. Sí. Ok, let's continue with the class and then we can okay. talk about it. Para imprimir no hay. Un folletito para imprimir. Ajá, no, el en esta ocasión no, solo tenemos la plataforma y es muy, muy, muy importante que, que hagan, la, que trabajen en la plataforma. De hecho, este ya, eh, les voy a mandar por WhatsApp cómo deberían de ir ya, en qué sección deberían ir ya por la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ok. Ajá, así que es muy sí, importante sí. que hagan los ejercicios, sus tareas y que alcancen mínimo el 80%. Pero mis alumnos no van, a, no van a lograr el 80%. Mis alumnos van a hacer el 100%, ¿verdad? El 100%, porque yo tengo sí, excellent sí. students. I have excellent sí, students, sí. very dedicated students, ¿ok? Very good. In the wrap up, because we only we have 14 minutes. You are going to create the questions for this. For example, what are we going to eat tonight? What is he going to do tomorrow? What am I going to eat for lunch? So please create the sentences using going to. Let's vamos a hacer el primer, el primer ejemplo juntos. Vamos a hacerlo. Aquí sería... Where? Vamos a ver. Are you help me, please? Are. 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 are we, are we, are we, we going, where are we? Gonna, gonna, gonna eat tonight. Pero como lo estoy escribiendo, going to. Right? Where are we going to eat tonight? What are we going to eat tonight, girls? Guys. Oops, no me sale aquí el interrogativo. Yeah. What are we going to eat tonight? Tonight is eh, en la noche. Ajá, uh -huh, esta noche. We are gonna we are gonna what uh, is we going to do tomorrow. I'm going to eat fruit. For okay, tomorrow. please copy and write the sentences in the correct form in your notebook. Where are we going to eat tonight? What is he going to do tomorrow? What? No sé si pueden do. escuchar un ruidito. Yes. yes. Ah, pues voy a ir, voy a, give me a second. I'm going to fix this. Okay, I am here again. Okay. Thank you, Alba. Yes, so yeah. I see okay. you're... you're welcome. <laughs> 
I'm gonna call you. Oh, could you hear my example? I'm gonna call you. Instead of saying, I'm going to call you, I said, I'm gonna call you and it was natural. I didn't think about it. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I hear it. Okay, Alba, tomorrow I'm gonna uh, tell the administrators of the group to, I'm gonna ask them to add you to the group, okay? To join the group. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, can somebody help me? Uh, you know what? There is an option on your screens to write on my screen. Tienen esa opción de escribir en mi pantalla. Hay una opción en la que pueden escribir en mi pantalla. ¿Le sale un lapicito? Sí, yes. Okay. Yes. So, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight volunteers to write on my screen the correct sentence. Ajá, exactamente. Pero que sea la opción de texto para que puedan escribir la forma correcta de, de, la pregun de las preguntas que están acá. Que, que puedan escribirlo en la pantalla. A mí no me sale el lapicito. No le sale. No. Ay, ya veo que están practicando. Ya mm, veo varios que me no están me manchando sale. la pizarra. Uh -huh. <ríe> 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 <¿Cómo es? ríe> me están manchando la pizarra. <ríe> Son bromas. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but try if you can write. Try if you can write the correct question on the screen. Okay. Ahí veo que están practicando. You're trying and that's good. Y si hago esas líneas sin que como la... No sé si le sale la opción de texto. Escribir texto. Sí, aquí aparece. ¿Quién, ah, puede, lo que, ¿quién puede ver lo que compartas aquí? Dice. Si por ah, favor está. pudieran eh, escribir ahí la oración correcta. Ok. Oh, alguien lo escribió, pero en el chat. And that's good. Patty escribió, what is he going to do tomorrow? Okay. Oh, Paul sería. Where is Paul going to sleep tomorrow? Where is, pero vamos a ir en orden, okay? Vamos con la number one. Where are we going are we to going? eat tonight. tonight? Tonight. The next is what is he going what to eat? Okay. What is he, he going to 
Exactly. What is he going to do? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Do tomorrow. What is he going to do tomorrow? Very What's good. Um, Patrice says, wrote the correct one. What am I going to eat for lunch? What am I going to eat for lunch? Oh. Okay. Who, who is going to carry? Who's going to carry the shopping for me? Shopping for me. Okay, who's going to carry the shopping for me? Next question. What time? What time are you going, going to phone, phone me? Excellent. What time are you going to phone me or call me? Okay, next. When? When are you going to give when, me a present? When are you going to give me a present? Okay, next. Me a present. Yes. When are you going to give me a present? When? I want a present. When are you going to give me a present? Um, when, how much? Um, how much longer? Is it going to take? Is it going to take? said. How much longer is it going to take? And the last one, where is? Where are no, where is Paul is L, he, third person. It, where is Paul? Where is Paul? Going, going to going sleep. To. Where is Paul going to sleep? Sleep. Uh, sleep. Oh, excellent. Is Paul going to sleep? writing the, uh, great. I like that. You see, we can write the, the, the the text, the, the sentences on my screen, and that's great. Muy bien. To finish the class, we still have five minutes, guys. So I would like you to go into the breakout rooms and, and ask and answer the questions. Ahora que ya tenemos la estructura correcta de las preguntas, you are going to ask and answer the questions. Otra vez en the breakout rooms, otra vez en los grupos, you are going to ask and answer the questions, ¿verdad? Se van a preguntar y se van a responder. Por ejemplo, where are we going to eat tonight? We're going to eat at home. What is he going to do tomorrow? Invent the, the answer, okay? He's going to work. Or what am I going to eat for lunch? Um, I'm, you are going to eat um, a hamburger. Who is going to carry the shopping for me? I am going to carry the shopping for you. Or your sister is going to carry the shopping for you, etc. Okay? No sé si comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Va, entonces le dan a aceptar a los breakout rooms y ahí como por dos minutos tienen que ask and answer the questions, okay? Ahí voy a pasar viéndolos. Ahí voy a pasar viéndolos a ver si de verdad están practicando. <laughs> ok. Please accept, join the groups. Fatima, you have to join the group, please. Hello, baby. 
Hello, sweetie. <laughs> you are learning English with your mother, and that's great. <laughs> Please join the group. Join the room. Well, well, for example, mm. for example what, what he do, what he do tomorrow. Um, mm. Only. Really. También. Why is, why is he? Why is he going to? To. Hello, Jenny. Es que estoy sola acá. Oh. Nadie me responde. Okay, ask me the questions. Okay, what are we going to eat tonight? Oh, tonight we're going to eat at Pizza Hut. What And... is he going to do tonight? To do tomorrow. To do tomorrow. Yes, he's going to uh, go to the zoo. Oh, Jenny Marisol has problems with his internet. That's why no, she she can't answer you. Okay. Okay. What is I going to eat for lunch? You are going to eat salad and chicken. It's okay. Do you like chicken and salad? Salad only. That. Only the salad. Oh, with I chicken or without vegetarian. chicken? You are I vegetarian. vegetarian. I didn't yes. know. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay. What time are you going to phone me, Samar? Repeat, please. What time are you going to phone me? Oh, what time? What time? Yes. What time are you going to phone me? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 oh, minutes. In 30 minutes. At 9.30. <laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the to print the main room. Okay, guys, so could you practice? Could you practice the questions? Yes, miss. Okay, that's great. Okay, guys, well, it's time to finish the class. I know you want to continue practicing, but we have to respect the schedule. <laughs> so please, you know, you, you can um practice more on the platform and also with yourself and in the whatsapp group okay so please don't forget to send the audio the your recording voice in the in the whatsapp group okay okay, okay. what did you learn today can somebody tell the class when you speak you use gonna 
Okay, when can you give you me one example, you, Jancy? Right. I'm, I'm gonna, in this moment, I wanna go to sleep. <laughs> I yes, wanna, gonna go to sleep. I wanna sleep. We're I gonna sleep. sleep. We're I gonna sleep, sleep for class. Yes, because okay. we are tired and we need to rest. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, I gonna. I'm gonna yes, work tomorrow. yes, you are. When we want, when we answer the questions, we say yes, I am, or no, I'm not, or yes, he is, or no, he isn't. Okay, that's the short answer, but very good. Okay, guys, it was a pleasure to see you this evening. Hope you have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good Bye. night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.